Give it up for the new K-pop group. These are the Try Guys from BuzzFeed. Make some noise for Keith, the diva. I don't know what it is. What is K-pop? I got Ned, the bad boy. I had never really heard of it until Gangnam Style came out. Zach, the pretty boy. It's like the 90 boy band craze never died, but just turned Korean. And Eugene, the all-rounder. We are going to be riding the Korean wave, which includes Korean dramas, Korean film, all of Korean culture, and most especially, K-pop. There are many ways to describe K-pop, but I would like to describe it as a multimedia performance. It seems like all they want to do is party. Right turquoise hair. Ear piercings that go down to here. Bibimbap. And of course it's party world, because mean old dad upstairs doesn't want any part of it. I've like learned a lot about K-pop just through Eugene just rambling at me. K-pop started gaining popularity in the late 1990s across Asia, but then once it hit the mid-2000s with the proliferation of YouTube and online videos, K-pop became an international phenomenon. If all of Asia was like a lunchroom, right? South Korea is the cool kids' table, right? <laughs> no, you can't say that. People are gonna be so mad. No, I agree. I agree. It's Eugene, Eugene says that I'm okay to say that. No one will ever get mad, so I'm saying it. So we're starting with girls' generation. It's the generation for girls. I know the first thing all the guys are gonna say is they don't know why there are so many members. There's so many people already. They've shown me at least a thousand girls so far. It doesn't seem as sexualized as American music videos. They can't stop because it's party time. Good argument. Why are they singing in English? And it literally just said hey on the screen. K-pop by design is made to be successful abroad. In order to create that effective hook, it's better be in English so that worldwide audience can really sing along. They're all like too cute for camera. They're like, oh, I, I, it's my cousin, no. Just to make me fall in love with them, because it's working. I wish I had this much fun doing anything. I guess you find the person that like speaks to you. Your bias is your favorite member in a group. The blonde one with blonde hair, because it looks like my wife. EXO, also produced by s and Town. Zach is gonna say that this reminds me of Fast and Furious because he will never stop talking about Fast, Fast and, and Furious. Furious. I was gonna say Tokyo Drift, but we're not in Japan. Some wild men appeared, like in a video game. One Korean man just becomes 20. The fact that the men wear makeup, is that something that's prized in Korea? These guys are tougher. Like if NSYNC saw them walking down an alley, they'd be like, oh shit, no, we gotta go the other way. They sort of remind me of like, B-boys, like similar to American style, but like wearing all the cool things at once. If you look at musical styles, performance genres, it's really taking influence from a wide range of cultures, such as Europop, hip hop, R&B. It's interesting that like black culture can spread even to Korea. How do you transport this many people to a show? Just a cage? You're like, all right, everyone in EXO, get in the cage, and put the cage on the truck. I thought that he was the main guy, but now they've shifted positions and now he's the main guy. I can see how everyone can have a favorite now. Also, here's a thousand articles of clothing. Put them all on. What's four minutes? Is the song four minutes long? No, it's, that's the group's name. That's the group's name? I know the other guys are gonna go crazy when they hear this track. This is like, this is hard as fuck. This is great. <laughs> this song is fire! This is like if Missy Elliott were Korean. They constantly are walking at me with their butt. How does it feel, Korea? I think K-pop videos tend to be one of three C's. You're either cool, cute are crazy, but the best K-pop videos intend to be a mixture of all three. All of these music videos have insane production value. Like in America, we don't spend money on music videos anymore, with like very few exceptions. In Korea, they are throwing all the money at music videos, and that is awesome. Foreman is just trying to give me a boner, and it's working. They, it, there's a lot of butts, let's be serious though. Right. Game of Thrones 7. How many members are in your band? We got seven. Pretty good joke, right? This is in like a little girl's bedroom. A weird sentence to start anything with. I feel uncomfortable and I don't know what's happening. I think it's all a metaphor for drugs. But they're very bright and cheerful. Get out of her cereal! She has to eat that! This definitely feels like One Direction. It's like Toy Story with hot Korean guys. When I was a little kid, I was considered the ugliest person that anyone has ever seen. And now people are thirsting after Korean guys and girls. Ah, uh, I just fall in love with him because of the melody that he's singing. I absolutely love that Hallyu is bringing Asian faces into popular media worldwide. While this guy doesn't look like my wife, he makes me feel the way my wife makes me feel. Stop trying to be sexy. She is eight. She is eight years old, sir. I'm over this. Shake it by Sista. I assume that you have to say it in sort of a Russian accent. I would legitimately put up a poster of these girls on my room. Oh, we were focusing on like dark and gritty. They're like, fuck that, we're just gonna be colors and fun. Early 2000s, 
Trapper Keeper grunge vibe. There's a lot of shaking your butt slightly in these music videos. You know, the one thing I really like about Sistar is that they're challenging some standards of Korean beauty by being tan. They're rolling their hips in the classroom. They still want to get the answer right because education is important. Even the South Korean presidential office set up national branding campaign to really use K-pop to improve nation's soft power. So there's a hockey team on a football field. <laughs> Whatever. I hope this is better than the Big Bang Theory. You would hear this beat in a gay club at 3 a.m. and you would get turned. It says 50 million views. Man, there are some big bands that I am completely unaware of. Oh, there's no one's wearing a shirt. Now they're cowboys and astronauts. Huh? These scenes happen so quickly. When I was talking about the astronaut, I missed something else entirely. You have a very easily identifiable aesthetic. There are so many uh, different segments that you have to watch at least 10 times to figure out what's going on. And that naturally increases the number of viewings. This feels like an episode of Doctor Who on acid. Now it's like a... Uh, She's crazy and there's guns. It's basically like eight music videos split up where like each person gets his own half a million dollar set. There's a certain list of artists that I would introduce non-Koreans to first and I think Big Bang's near the top of that because they have international appeal. Oh, okay, I get what this song is about now. Oh, the chorus sounds nothing like the verses. Bang, 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 oh my God. I am feeling this music. His name is G-Dragon. His name is G-Dragon. Is his name Top because he just wears giant top hats? The one I like the best is the one that looks at me with a sultry eye. Mr. Dragon, your seat is right over here. So you don't have to be Korean to enjoy Korean culture. Korean culture is dynamic, exciting, and there's something for everyone. I'm really impressed. I, I'm speechless, really. It's better than our pop is. I fucking dug it. I'm going to listen to this stuff all the time. All our pop music is too sentimental. We need more fun in it. I have never been more excited for a Try Guys series because as a Korean, I get to introduce the other guys to my culture. K-pop stuff is like the capital in the Hunger Games. Like Ruffles. And they're like, Super Junior. Me and more. But they say that in Korean. Mm -mm 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 -mm. K-pop.